Vice President-elect Mike Pence is one lucky man scoring a ticket to Hamilton tonight, the hottest musical on Broadway. His reception at the theater tonight was mixed, greeted with cheers and some booze. And as they took their curtain call, one of the stars of the musical had this message for him. Listen. You know, we had a, a, a guest in the audience this evening. And Vice President-elect Pence, I see you walking out, but I hope you will hear us just a few more moments. There's nothing to move here, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing to move here. We're all here sharing a story of love. We have a, we have a message for you, sir. We hope that you will hear us out. And I encourage everybody to pull out your phones and tweet and post, because this message needs to be spread far and wide, OK? Vice President-elect Pence, we welcome you, and we truly thank you for joining us here at Hamilton and American Musical. We really do. We, sir, we are the diverse America who are alarmed and anxious that your new administration will not protect us, our planet, our children, our parents, or defend us and uphold our inalienable rights, sir. But we truly hope that this show has inspired you to uphold our American values and to work on behalf of all of us. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. Again, we truly thank you for sharing this show, this wonderful American story told by a diverse group of men and women of different colors, creeds, and orientations. Yeah. Um, and it's such a, you know, integrated, you know, environment there. Everybody, there's no race, there's no color, there's like, you know, everybody gets along. And I look at that and it actually saddened me that we're at a point in America where people feel as though our elected representative as re vice president and president does not represent everyone. That there's this palpable fear with so many people in this country that, that they would have to do that. Uh, th we've got to we've got to do know, something my, about my this. Concern, and, though, and, and, I, I worry though, that, and that's because of the kind of Marco, if, Donald what Trump if Marco plan. no what if Marco Rubio were the uh, the president elect and Mike Pence were his running mate and Mike Pence went there tonight I think he would have probably gotten the same the harsh same treatment and I think that's unfortunate. Uh, that's, that's, I don't possibly. think it's just about. Trump. I don't know that Marco Rubio would have chosen a Mike Pence this as, as a vice hour. presidential. This is I, it's so funny to me to watch that honestly because you're sitting in the middle of New York City at a Broadway musical where tickets go for, I just checked, $835. These are the elites that were dethroned when Donald Trump became president-elect. Okay, I'm they sad that that's how, that's and, the only thing you this, got out of that. And, and they, the booing that I saw there, it was, first of all, it was disrespectful. There's cheering but, too, but, but second, it just shows how out of touch that New York, LA, DC elite are from mainstream America. What?